15 different bars, 15 different classical pieces from all centuries. If you recognize more than 5, you're pro. If you recognize more than 10, you're straight up expert. And else, you're a classical music newbie. Each row gets more difficult than the last one. Now, prove that you're as good as people think you are. The first piece. Is it Dvorak's ninth, Beethoven's fifth, Schumann's third, or Schubert's fourth? And of course, this is Beethoven's fifth symphony, second movement. I once heard it in an ear training class and I was sure it was from Franz Schubert. I guess they let you study music even if you have no idea about it. I was already in third semester. Is it Mozart's Symphony No. 40, Brahms' Symphony No. 3, Nielsen's Symphony No. 5, or is it Richard Strauss, also Sprach Zarathustra? And the right answer is Mozart's Symphony No. 40 in G minor. All major symphonies from Mozart were all written in 1788, so 39, 40 and 41, there's nothing else to say, just an amazing piece. Is it Tchaikovsky's Nutcracker, Schumann's First Symphony, Rachmaninoff's Symphonic Dances or Brahms' Fourth Symphony? And of course it's Brahms' Symphony No. 4 in E minor, known for its emotional depth. You can really see here what makes Brahms so special. In my humble opinion, it's leaving things out that shouldn't be in the score. So just writing the necessary stuff and mixing it up with the right instruments. Is it Bruckner's Seventh, Dvorak Ninth, Smetana Mavlast or is it Symphony Fantastique from Hector Berlioz? I guess this one was quite easy, Dvorak's ninth, first movement, one of the greatest symphonies of all time. Everyone loves it, every major orchestra plays it, and for a good reason. All movements are amazing, there's not one movement you would like to skip like in pretty much every other symphony. If you say you like classical music and you don't know Dvorak's ninth, you better go listen to it right now. Is it Tchaikovsky 6, Tchaikovsky 5, Tchaikovsky 4, or is it Tchaikovsky 3? And of course, it's Tchaikovsky's Symphony No. 6, First Movement. One of the most tragic, sad, depressed, but also somehow empowering pieces in classical music. Probably the most interesting thing about this symphony is that the fourth movement is slow, which is not very typical. Normally, it always ends heroically. Is it Rachmaninoff's Symphonic Dances, Johann Strauss' Walz d'Arabesque, Berlioz' Symphony Fantastique, or is it Fauré Sicilienne? One of the most beautiful waltz in classical music, Symphony Fantastique, second movement. This symphony is just emotional heartbreak, it hurts so bad listening to it, but I would still consider it as one of the top 5 greatest symphonies of all time and I absolutely love it. Except for the third movement, this symphony is just perfect. Is it Wagner, Tristan and Isolde, Wagner, Lohengrin, Wagner, Das Rheingold, or is it Wagner, Die Meistersinger von Nürnberg? If you can break down this chord, you get 5 bonus points. And this is of course the Tristan Overture with the famous Tristan chord. Now, the chord is basically just a 6, an A minor, to a 5. If you want to know why, and I guess if you're an expert, you want to know, you can click the link in the description later. Is it Stravinsky's Rite of Spring, Bartok's Miraculous Mandarin, Puccini's Turandot, or is it Debussy's Sweet Berger Mask? The Rite of Spring from Stravinsky. A brutal plot, a lot of bitonality that led to some riots during the premiere, a scandalous piece. Is it Schumann, Dichterliebe, Strauss, Vorlast Songs, Schubert, Die Winterreise, or is it Brahms, Vier Ernste Gesänge? This is the beginning of the Winterreise from Franz Schubert, poor man, died when he was just 31 years old. He was known as a melodic genius and the opposite to Beethoven. Beethoven's music is considered more harsh and direct, and Schubert's a bit more soft and gentle. Is it Kamaria von Weber, Die Freischütz, Humperdinck, Hänsel und Gretel, Wagner, Lohengrin, or is it Tchaikovsky, Pig Dumb? This is one of the top five operas of all time, Hänsel und Gretel. I don't know a single person who does not love this opera, probably because there doesn't exist one. Is it Brahms, Piano Concerto No. 2, Bartok, Piano Concerto No. 1, Scriabin, Piano Concerto No. 3, or is it Rachmaninoff, Piano Concerto No. 2? Our first and last piano concerto on the list, this was somewhere at the beginning of the third movement of Rachmaninoff's Piano Concerto No. 2. Is it Puccini Turandot, Puccini Tosca, Puccini La Bohème, or is it Puccini Gianni Schicchi? This is the beginning of Turandot from Puccini. The opera is about the princess Turandot who challenges suitors to solve riddles to win her hand in marriage with death as a consequence for failure. Why do operas always have to be so dramatic? Is it Debussy, La Mer, Ravel, Daphne Sicloé, Ravel, La Valse, or is it Debussy, Prélude à l'après-midi d'un fond? This was La Mer, aka The Ocean from Claude Debussy. 
Very typical for his compositions are exotic scales, pentatonic and whole tone scales, parallel chords and unresolved dissonances. Is it Mahler 6, Bruckner 7, Strauss einer Alpensinfonie, or is it Shostakovich's fifth one? And it is Bruckner's seventh symphony, fourth movement. Shout out to my fellow Bruckner lovers. What is there to say about him? Deeply religious man, huge epic orchestras with a more traditional instrumentation, complex harmonies, that's about it. Great composer. Last question for today. Is it Berg, Wozzeck, Richard Strauss, Ariadne of Naxos, Benjamin Britten, Peter Grimes, or is it Richard Strauss, Salome? This is the beginning of Richard Strauss' Salome, one of my favorite operas of all time. Let me know your score down in the comments. I guess if you're still paying attention, you also play an instrument. Now I need to go watch this video right here. In this video, I teach you the most important practice hacks and techniques that I have learned over the past 17 years of making music. It hasn't that many views, but it's one of the best videos I've ever made. So click right here. Thanks for watching, and we we'll see you on the next one.